Now, after downloading and installing the Eltrex tool, Eltrex Designer, let us see the user interface. Let us get familiar with the user interface. I can divide this Eltrex window into seven different parts. So these are different parts which I'll be talking about. So let us see the first one. The first one, if you see, there's a menu bar, file menu bar, edit menu bar, view, options, and help. Each menu bar are having different relevant options. Like in file, we have new, open, save, exit. Edit menu bar, like we have undo, redo, cut, copy, paste. Now, the other option we have is a tab. There are several tabs. If you can see, in and out, preparation tab, join tab, transform tab. Each tab is separated and they have relevant options in that. For example, in preparation tab, if you see, we have filter, formula and generate rows. Carefully observe the color of the tools, the formula tool, which is there. And you can see the color is blue color. So the tab color preparation and there's a blue tick mark over here, blue bubble here. Same way in the join tab, if you see, all the tools are in the purple color, transformation, orange color. And then we have different tabs, different colors. Suppose if you want to increase or decrease the tab, for example, this SDK examples will not be covering. So I'll just click on this plus button on the right hand side. And from the left hand side portion, I can just deselect this SDK examples. So this tab won't be visible. So if you keep on seeing different tabs are there. Total there are 230 tools. On the right hand side, these are tools option. If I click on OK. And you can see the SDK has gone away. So if I go to preparation tab, these are different tools, data cleansing, filter tool, formula tool, different tools are there. Like this, there are 230 plus tools in Eltrex. Now the next one is the canvas. If you see the center portion, you can just drag and drop different options into the canvas. This canvas is known as workflow. Usually in the company, whenever you want to automate any task, you have to bring different tools. So this area, which you can see is nothing but a workflow or you can call it a canvas. The left hand side window, if you can see that's a configuration window. Each tool will have separate configuration options. This will change depending upon the tool you select. Below window, if you see that's a results window. Whenever you execute an output, whenever you run, the below window will give you the data output. This would be the results window. Now the next one. If you see on the right hand side, there's a run button. If you create a workflow and if you want to execute that, you can just click on this run button here. The shortcut to execute is Control R. You can press Control R from a keyboard. The last option which I want to show you is the quick access toolbar. On the top, if you see, there's a save, undo, redo button. These are nothing but a toolbar, a shortcut toolbar here. And also we have a search button. If you want to search any tool, because you see, you are new to Eltrex. You do not know where is the filter option, where is union, where is join. So you can just click on the search box and type any tool name. Let's say union. So I can just type here union. This is one tool which you'll see in the coming videos. So related to union, you'll get the tool names, you'll get the help and the community. Everything will be visible here. Same way, if you want something for, let's say filter. So you just type filter. Relevant options related to filter will be visible here. Okay. So I can just click outside. So if you want, you can just drag this filter, drag and drop into the canvas here. So I hope you are familiar with the user interface of Eltrex. In the coming section, we'll learn more in detail. That's all for this video.